God bless you all. Let's get into today's video. So, I'm going to first read 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 to verse 17. Reading in the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God live forever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we can see a lot how these are the days of Noah. How the other day there was a, a shooting in the schools in Texas. And there has been a lot of crazy stuff that's been happening on the news. Um, how technology has been evolving. How the society has been getting worse and worse. You know, we're being, we're hating each other. We're being racist to each other. Even the churches has grown up custom to the way of living how this world works today how we're not being holy as god is holy or living by the word of the truth of jesus christ anymore we're not even living by the word anymore we're living half world and half trying to be church when that's not how god you know works or how it's how god wants his church to be god wants us living fully for him having our hearts fully to him but we could see a lot how a lot of people have grown custom to the way of people live today. Of how people, they don't want to serve God fully from their heart. They want to be right in the center between the world and God. And brothers and sisters, God doesn't want us serving two masters. God doesn't want a one foot in and one foot out. God doesn't want us gossiping about one another, hating one another. He wants us loving each other, spreading the word of God. Telling people about God, his love. Also, though, telling people about hell. Telling people about sin. Because if we don't speak about sin and hell, then what's the purpose of coming to God? Because we are sinners in need of a Savior. We need Jesus in our lives. Without Jesus, there ain't no peace. There isn't no joy. There isn't no meaning to life without Jesus Christ. So, brothers and sisters, instead of focusing things on the world, we need to focus our eyes on God. Because Christ is coming soon to pick up his church and the time is very near and how sin is evolving in the world and now even in the churches how the music is becoming unclean how people are not living by the word how people are stepping on the altar not even having a relationship with god brothers and sisters let's pray for one another let's pray and let's keep on walking looking for god no matter what happens no matter what happens in their lives, because I know today is getting very hard and very hard. There is already a new disease that's coming out. There's many things happening in the world with many families. And there's a lot of things happening. But brothers and sisters, at the end, there will be victory. In the name of Jesus Christ, there will be victory. Let's just keep our eyes on Christ. Let's keep on walking in the direction he has put us in and keep being directed and guided by the Holy Spirit. Because brothers and sisters. This life doesn't end until God picks up his people. And brothers and sisters. Just remember. That when Jesus was on earth. He preached about how the last days will be. How the church will turn away from hearing the word of God. They're going to hear the word of the enemy. They're going to hear the word of sin. And, you know, they're going to have itching ears. They don't want to listen to the truth anymore. And how this message brings into the world, brothers and sisters, we're getting comfortable. But, brothers and sisters, let's not get comfortable. Let's get back in track. Let's get right with God. Let's have a real relationship with God. Because God loves us, but we also need to have a relationship with him. Because we can't say we love Jesus or have a relationship with him if we don't even, you know, have time to pray or read his word. You know, because the relationship with God, both by faith, by trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, 
with all your faith, with all your soul, with all your life in his hands, knowing that he is with you, he's going to protect you. Brothers and sisters, without that, we can't say we love Jesus or even that we're Christians because Christians, they will say no to the world and yes to Jesus Christ. They will say no to sin and yes to the truth. Brothers and sisters, most of Christians who call themselves Christians are not Christians. They just think it's just a regular title you could put. Anybody could speak the word of God. Even a devil speaks of God. Look in Genesis, how he spoke the of, of God to Eve, but he twisted the word. That's how today is. We're twisting God's word. Brothers and sisters, how today, how there is so much evilness that our only hope is to keep on walking, having faith in the Lord, till Christ picks up his people. So brothers and sisters, Christ is with us. Never give up. Never lose hope. Our hope is Jesus Christ. Keep on walking. Keep having faith in the Lord. Remember Jesus loves you. Escape the wrath to come. And receive life through Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. Christ is forever King. He is the Good Shepherd. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.